just forgot to press record. Hello, we are making sushi. We have Isaac's first birthday party today. And Nori rolls are a fabulous party food. So I am just making my first one and getting that to squash out. All right. And I'm just going to take you through in a second. Ava, do you want to get me a, a sort of like a platter or a plate or something to put these on? So as far as ingredients go, we have some tuna, a nice big tin, mashed up really well with some mayonnaise. We also have some julienne carrot and cucumber. We have some smoked salmon. And normally I would use fresh avocado and this is the first time I'm actually going to try in some of them just using some avocado dip because all of the shops were out of ripe avocados. They were all too hard which is a real nuisance. And then the sushi rice here which I've made just using the absorption method. Two cups of water to one cup of rice and then I have put it in this casserole dish so more air can get to it because you need to make it fresh but you also want it to be at room temperature before you make the nori rolls. So this allows more air to get to it, cools down faster and then I've just put some sushi seasoning on but I don't use as much as the packet directions. I find that a bit overpowering so I've just gone by taste. I also have here my sushi mat that I've already started using obviously. It's a little bit grubby, they're like two dollars and you just throw them out and then get a new one for the next time and time and then I also have my seaweed sheets and that's that brand okay so we've made the first one and I'm just going to pop, pop it over there and I'll cut them all at the end okay so all you have to do is put a seaweed roll rough side up and then you get your sushi rice and whack it on there and you'll get it you'll get a feel after a bit of time for how much you want and you just push it all out you want to leave a good couple of centimeter gap there because that's where it will um, stick Okay, and now you put your main filling, in this case it is tuna, it's mayonnaise. with mayonnaise, yep, mixed around, mm -hmm. and then carrot, it's cut, cucumber, it's cut, and then I would normally also put some av fresh avocado, so I'm just going to put a little bit of avocado dip and we'll see what that's like. <laughs> it won't be as good, as long as it's not bad. Okay, now what you want to do is put a bit of water, I'll just do it with my fingers, just on this outer layer, or outer edge I should say, and that is going to allow it to... To roll up nicely and stick. Okay, so rolling it up, you just sort of squeeze it as you go, keep it nice and tight, and then you're left with a lovely nori roll. And you add that to your platter. Ava, can I have the platter? Thank you. And we'll just keep going like that. Okay, I've got a platter of 10 nori rolls. They're really big, I'm going to make them more bite-sized for the party. So, straight through with a very sharp knife. This isn't a very sharp knife, but it's <laughs> as good as it gets around here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut each half into three. I could do it into two, no, I could do it into three. And if you're like me and you're struggling to find a really sharp knife, try a bread knife because it just goes through 
really, really easily. Beautiful. And then you have your little nori rolls, so cute, and you pop them on your platter. Okay, I have already covered it in cling wrap. I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge for half an hour until people get here, but there you go. So simple, I've actually got some left over there that we can have for dinner, or if it, all of this runs out, I'll quickly cut up some more. But it's lovely, simple, if you have nothing against carbs, it's nutritious and it's so delicious. Bit of wasabi, soy sauce, whatever people like. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.